done what's going on here i need y'all to man to please send this out share it uh we going live and i'm about to go back in about a few minutes as soon as lena logs on uh we had a quick break we're just changing things around the studio but welcome to boss talk uh all live talk show where we talk about some serious issues we talk about some we're gonna have some fun we're gonna talk about some men and some women things and relationships we're gonna talk about finances we're gonna talk about who's a sucker who's not a sucker we're gonna talk about these potholes in the city we're gonna talk about true and live everything man is going down on boss talk every monday night at seven o'clock p.m and it is it is what it is uh, listen i told everybody a few weeks ago when i was throwing these posts up i'm gonna say whatever the fuck i want to say because i can fight so at the end of the day, <laughs> if you don't like it, oh well, you know where to see me at. This, I figured, listen, a show like this, it needs to be out. We got time, everybody's doing these shows and they talking about everything, but nothing, but they ain't talking about shit that need to really be talked about. And guess what? That's why I'm bringing it to y'all right now. I'm bringing Boss Talk and we're going to keep it 100, always 100 live on here. And I ain't playing no shorts, I ain't taking no shorts and we're going to do it right. That's the way, that's the way my daddy told me. Simple as that. Oh, they're going to Facebook. Yay. Shop. Plug into her inbox so I can see if she got any, uh, any. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Let's you see all the people coming eyes. at her inbox. You want to cover your eyes for that one. Oh, man. You be getting ding a in your inbox? Some guys send me that. Man, y'all got to stop doing that. Lonnie Gunn. Lonnie Gunn and Jermaine, are y'all, si- are y'all sending just Lena ding in her in her Instagram? <laughs> they do. I'm in her DM. You. Come on, man. Y'all can't be doing that. I'm like, I do joke about on like little things, but damn, you ain't got to send it to me. They send it in your inbox. Yes. Well, ladies, y'all need to take a book out of our, our pages and send some titties or something through y'all through our <laughs> inbox. Send us some titties, man. Let me get my lips popping. Men on. always <laughs> sending everything. What up, George? What's going on? We on live a Boss Talk Radio show. Mm-hmm. On a live podcast, GlobalTunesRadio.com. Make sure you download the app because it's going down. We on here every Monday night. I'm Joe the Boss with my co-host, Jess Lena. Lena. The women always got to take extra time to get their stuff right. Look at this. Look at this. Somebody look at this. Somebody look at this. Got it with a lipstick popping on. Yes, my lips have to be popping at all times. Even when I was giving birth, I had people putting lip. You had you in the middle of delivery and you had to stop and had I can't to stand chip lips. You in there put. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Hey. You push it and you gonna tell them to, to put Vaseline on your lips. That's why my name just lean. I'm just me. Just lean. Just yes. I'm just lean. My uncle on here. What up, uncle? Hi, uncle Mick. Midnight. Hey, midnight. All right, so. June on. We got Shut. Nicole. She's on. You ready? We ready? We, we back ready. on? That's you up there. Oh, look at that in the back. Mmm. Hey, party time. Hey, What's this? It. This your Instagram? That's Instagram. Oh, okay. Well, you on live right there. Hey, we on live. We okay, that's the show. We back? Yeah, we back. Welcome back to Boss Talk Live. I am your host, Joe the Boss. This is my co-host, Jesslina. Hey. And we on here. We live, man. We talking about some things that need to be talked about. Jesslina, I got another topic for you. Yes. Now, I need to know this right now. We just talking about, we were joking and talking about the jobs and everything, all the jobs that you have. And women, like Cheryl was on earlier, she was talking about she has two jobs. This is what's going on right now, okay? Mm-hmm. Nine times out of ten in the black communities, in our households, the women are working more jobs than men, right? Yes. Facts. Now, that's facts, right? That yes. is facts. Women have, a, you know, a day job. They may have a part-time job, you know. Um, now, as... Who is the head of the household? Does it go by who brings in the most money? Who is the financial breadwinner? Or is it the man because he's the man? Or is it the woman because she may bring in more money? Well, from what I was taught and brought up, a man supposed to be the head of the household. Mm -hmm. No matter what. But you're not going to be labeled the man of the household if you're not making the man of the household moves. Okay. And if I'm working and you still laying in the bed watching cartoons, mm-hmm. that's a problem. That's a problem. You're not even going to be in my bed. You might be in someone's bed. It won't be mine. Okay. But I think a man should play the role of being the head of the household as a man. No as matter man. what. You know, not, no matter what. If you making... 
moves as being a man. I'm talking about like working, things like that, providing mm-hmm. for your family. True. Paying bills. True. Taking out the trash. Mm-hmm. Very true. Cooking. True. Sometimes. I mean, you know, you got to do the same thing. I don't believe a woman should do all the cooking. A man should do all the cooking. It's 50-50 in any relationship in marriage. So mm-hmm. you're not going to be labeled as the man of the household if you're not playing your role as a man. Right. You're right. not even going to be in just lean the house, period. Okay. <laughs> yes. All right. Well, fellas, people, y'all did tell me what y'all think. Who is the uh, financial and just because you may have more finances than one another. Mm. Who is the head of the household? Nowadays, I think things have changed a lot from when our grandparents and our parents grew up. And back then, it was a given. The man was the head of the household. Women stayed home. Nowadays, women are not staying home. Women are being out there. They're working multiple jobs. The, are they entitled now to be the head of the household? Tell us what y'all think. Yes, what y'all think? What y'all think? Log on, let us know. You're watching Boss Talk Live. Who is the head of the household? What Does it go by the, the statute of the money you make? Fred, what's up, Fred? What's going on? Fred says hey, the man. Fred. Fred says the man. What up, Will? What's going on? I'm with Fred. You with Fred, too? Yes, the man is the head of the household. I think so, too. I think, no, I, okay, but here's the thing, though, right? Mm-hmm. Let's say, let's say the man of the household, right? The man brings in... Forty-two thousand dollars a year, mm-hmm. right? The woman is making fifty-two thousand dollars a year. Okay. Who is the head of the household now? It's not about who making. To me, in my household, it mm-hmm. wouldn't be who's making the most money. Right. Like I said, a man should always be labeled a man of the household if he know how to provide for his family. A man can make. Eight dollars an hour, and still hustle and provide for his family, and his mate may make fifteen dollars an hour, but he's still not to hustle up that money and get things done and pay all the bills. Right now, so, now here's the thing, right? We got Phil right here. What's up, Phil? Phil was saying the absolute opposite of what you're saying. Phil was saying the breadwinner is the head of the household. No. So the breadwinner can mean it that that means if the lady is making more than the man. She's entitled to be the head of household? Oh, wow. What you think? That's no? If. Is anybody else there thinking like Theo thinking? Is, is that the case? Just because the, the breadwinner brings in the most money, so they entitled to be the head of household. But there's women out here who do make more money than they, they man or they husband. Right. And they husband still can take care of all the bills with what he can make. It's about how he hustles. Right. Now, now Fred is saying uh, he has to command the respect of the house no matter what. And that I believe in, too. Mm-hmm. I see, now, you can be making $42,000 a year as a man. The woman can make $62,000, right? But okay. as long as you command, like you said, the man has to still provide and make sure that he's doing the manly things around the house. This is the problem, though. The problem is some women are too bossy, and they don't want to give that title up to the man no matter what. I think, our, and especially, Lena, I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to okay. tell you black women this right now. Mm-hmm. I think it's especially with our black women. I think our black, our black women are a little too bossy. And once they get into the workforce and they get out there and they and they making that kind of money and, 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 and maybe even multiple jobs, okay, they can't submit to being just the woman in the household no more. They have to be the boss. They want to be the boss. That's my that's my opinion. I don't know. What, what no, you think? um, I don't feel like because they making money. Um, like I said, I don't always deal with a man that works two jobs. So. I don't think if I make, I'm making more than him and my income is more, I'm going to see him and be like, I'm the boss, this is the house, I'm the head out of the household. Right. That's, it shouldn't go like that. Right. Nicole says, why does it either, uh, I guess, why does it matter? Um, either can be head of the household, right? No, Nicole, I disagree with that. I think, I think a fine line needs to be drawn. I think somebody has to have that responsibility as being the head of the household. I am a firm believer, and guess what? I don't care if I make thirteen dollars mm-hmm. an hour and my woman makes seventy thousand dollars a year. At the end of the day, I am the head of the household. You know why? Mm-hmm. Because at two o'clock in the morning, when you hear that bang, boobity bang bang downstairs, mm-hmm. 
and you roll over and tell me, babe, go see the, what that was. Mm-hmm. Yeah, damn it, I'm the head of the household there. Okay. Unless, unless, unless you getting up out of the bed and you going downstairs to see what that boomity bang was, then you a head of the household. But if I'm going to put my life on the line mm-hmm. for you and these kids, God damn it, I'm the head of the household. I don't, care if, I, I don't care if I shovel shit or work at McDonald's. You... <laughs> You are not going to have that title over me. I'm the head of the household. See, Nicole said. Sonny we, says yes. That's what I'm talking about. We bosses because there's too many lazy ass men out here. And guess what? You are absolutely right. Right. And the reason why I believe is a la- lot of lazy ass men out here is because how we bring our boys up. Right. Exactly. That's crazy because uh, I got Fred here. Fred saying the same thing. Fred is saying this, I'm correct about that because the dudes out here now are lame and lazy. Yeah, and that's and that's I do agree with that, Fred. I, I I feel sorry for some women out here, Lean. I feel sorry for the women that's that's having to deal and go through these men out here. It's the, I mean, some of them are lazy and sad. Yeah, and they're giving a lot of good men out here a bad rap because they're overworking a lot of you females. A lot of you females out here are being overworked. And happen to be in that role as the head of the household because these men out here are lazy. They're not. They're not letting their woman be the woman in the house, and because she has to be the man in the house. Right. That's true. She's doing everything but taking the damn trash out. If you, if she got to come in the house and pay all these bills, and then you ripping and running the street, and you thinking that's okay, that's not okay. Get some of y'all need to get your lazy asses up and and, and provide. And this is why I say when I'm on stage is 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 a joke, but it's real. All these men, they say a lot of women just want to have a man. Oh, I got a man. He and they want to FaceTime and picture up and knowing the man don't even work. Right. He's not your man. He's the extra bill. He's <laughs> he's your Xfinity bill. You might as well say Xfinity cut the TV off. Exactly. exactly. T-Mobile, yeah. hand me my phone because he's nothing but he's bringing you more bills in. Right. He can't even provide for your children. That's bad. He can't provide for himself. No. That's, that's true. That's Mm-mm. very true. That's very true. What's up? Nicole just said a lot, uh, something that was good. She says that that's why she's single because I guess I don't know it's hard to find a, a good man. Nicole, is that what you're saying? There aren't any good men left out there? What's up, King Jay? What's going on? Jalen Yes. Jalen is down in uh, Charlie B's. Man, he has that kitchen back there popping. You want oh, some good hey. food, man? Make sure y'all go holler at Jalen back there at Charlie Jaylen. B's on Broad Street. The food is crazy back there. Jalen not a cook. Is Jalen single? Yes, Jalen is not single, but he's a he's a hell of a cook. Okay, well that's the plus. Yeah. Then somebody eating good. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, Saeed? So we talking, man. We in here. We talking about who is the head of the household? Doesn't matter. Is the breadwinner the head of the household, or is it the man because he's the man and normally and, and, and past this how it was, mm-hmm. or or it's, it's 2019? Okay, we in a whole different century now. Yes. Are the women now? Women are working their ass off. They're in more independent. Are they now considered the head of the household? What do y'all think? Give us some Give feedback. Give your opinion. Give us some feedback. Uh, Let us know what y'all think. Fred is on here. I personally have to check my wife. Too many I, women <laughs> taking care of yeah, grown ass men. They do. They that's, do. That's the thing. That's the thing. Like what Fred was saying, right? Fred, sometimes I guess he's saying he personally has to check his wife mm-hmm. because no matter what, we still have to stand our ground. Okay. And and I think, like I said, because a lot of women, they work hard, you know, and, and, and they deal with a lot of things in their job. They come home and they want to be bossy. It, it takes a it takes a strong man to say, listen, I understand what you're going through. But when we walk in this door and under mm. this roof, I am the boss. I'm running this show right here. You have to fall back. I'm sorry that you were stressed out today at work, right. but I'm paying these bills and I'm making sure you're safe. And I'm protecting you and I'm protecting this household. I am the man of the house. Sometimes we have to put that down. We have to let women know that. And and like I said, it's not being done because it's a lot of lames out here. It is a lot of lames. So it's a lot of lames out here. Me and Nicole, we are single, but Nicole, what Nicole that. is that? That's your friend Nicole? That's my friend Nicole. That's now, how many jobs home. do Nicole have? Nicole do have two jobs. That's as why well. you're single, Nicole. You're single because you have too many jobs. I was talking about that earlier. Ladies, if you're if you're working too many jobs, Cheryl is back away as soon as I start talking about that. Cheryl, <laughs> Cheryl you know he's a hater. You're working too many jobs, you can't find a man. I will you can't date nobody who has a job, a part time job, and you're doing Uber and Lyft and all this other shit. You no, want you, you want a good man, quit one of these jobs. No, we just have to provide for our children and that's why we go hard. Not everyone can call their child father and say 
co-payment need to be paid. Um, Zaire, he needs some sneakers. He, you know, he need clothes. Did you just name your, your kid real name? Zaire. That's yes, that's Zaire is real. Oh, <laughs> this is me, Zaire. She's doing, she doing real shots on this thing. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> yes. My two boys. Shout out to my two boys and Isaiah. So, mom, go hard for him. Sure okay. do. Oh, Everybody no, don't, right. you know. So is 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 the mother in us? Is is natural? Natural, huh? Yes. Well, if you're looking for a good man, you won't find a good man because you're working too many jobs. I don't care what you say. Quit a job if you want to. Listen, get if he's a good man, you, you will see man. him when you're coming out the job. Carrie, how you doing? Carrie, <laughs> Carrie's on here. Carrie, how many jobs Thank do you, you have, and do you have a man, Carrie? Are you a single woman out there living in the county, Carrie? Let me know what's going on. <laughs> I'm telling just Lena right now, the reason why she's single, the reason why Nicole is single, because they're working too many jobs. <laughs> Quit one of these damn jobs so you can find a man. Go in Walmart with some booty shorts on. Mm. <laughs> Go to mm -mm. Pep Boys. <laughs> if he if it's meant to be, he'll find me when I'm walking out my job and I just clocked out. Which job is that, Lena? Because you got two and a half Either jobs. Either one of the hospitals. Or I'll see him at the show. Oh, no, How about that? Right. See him yes. at the show. If it's meant to be, it's meant to be. It is. It is. And we are talking, man. We're talking about who's the head of the household. We need to know. Uh... I don't know what this is right. I can't read that part up there. You got, we're still too far away from the monitor right there. That's something What's Theo saying. Said? Theo was saying, I was just saying that the boss man, the man is not doing what he's supposed to do and making more money. He's, he's not the brave one and the brave one is the one making the moves and sure the house is in order. Okay. So he's saying don't matter. It don't matter if it's the man or not. The brave one is whoever's making the moves, basically, is what, is what Theo was saying. If the, if the lady is making more moves and, 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 and the money is coming in majority through that person, then that's what the head of the household is. Oh, man. That's the problem, Theo. I don't agree with you. That's the, that's the problem right there. We allow these women to, to think that because they're making more money than mm -hmm. us, than they are the breadwinners, they are the head of the household, and that's not the way it should be. We need to go back into the time of 1942 and 1910 where I don't care if you stayed home all day long, you wasn't the, 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 the man was the head of the household regardless. The man was the head of the household. That's how it should be. It should be like that, absolutely. No matter how much, unless, ladies, unless, let me, now, let me correct myself. If you have a lazy, first of all, if you have a lazy man, if you have a no good man, if you have a man that's, that is in your house and not help protect you mm -hmm. and help provide for you and your kids, then it shouldn't be a, it shouldn't be a man, period. Nope, <laughs> you might as well stay and yeah, get yeah. him out. Your yeah, might as well be. Call him a lift or Uber, let him get out, get him a U-Haul truck, tell him, yeah, I'll cash it if you got to get out. Yes, we shouldn't even be talking about if a man is being the head of the household. He shouldn't be in your damn house. If Let's he get, can't be the head out of the household. Let's get provide. his ass up out of there. Because best believe it's somebody else out there, ladies, who is working just as hard as you and is looking for somebody to take care of. Yes. They out here. I'm yes. telling you. It's, it's a lot of men and it's a lot of women out here who just keep finding and keep running to the wrong people and they giving up. We can't give up. No. I hear women say this all the time. Like like uh, Cheryl just said earlier, God going to bring me a man. <laughs> why, why the fuck God got to bring you a man? Why you can't go out and find one? Oh, I ain't looking for him. He can, you ain't listen. looking for him? No, I'm not looking for no man. Y'all are so wrong. I love when women say that shit. I'm not looking for him. When women now, say that shit, I love it. We'll look for each other. I'll see him. He'll see me. got to be something. I'm not going to be out here like I'm, I'm about to get dressed. I'm going out Friday, and I'm looking for my husband. Here's the thing, though, Lena, right? Mm -hmm. this, this is one thing I don't get when women say that. You need a job, right? Mm -hmm. You're going to go look for a job. Yes. When you got a party coming and you got a show coming, you need an outfit. You're going to go look for outfit. Yes. When you need some new shoes, you're going to go look for some new shoes, mm -hmm. right? But when it comes for you needing a man, God got to send it to you. What kind of shit is that? <laughs> well, I'm not going to be out what here in searching the world? for him. You I'm go not. search for everything else. But I'm not searching for You can for go a search man. for I'm, your clothes, your car. You need a new car. You're going seven I'm different car I'm not downloading lots. no app for black single, <laughs> mingle, and uh, That's good. the problem. Mm -mm. Why? The same hunt and same fight no. that you put in when you're going in and out of car lots looking for a reliable car, looking for some shoes that match your outfit. You're in 17 different department stores. Mm -hmm. But let you come back to find a man. I yeah, ain't I'm looking for no them. man. Shit. God going to send me a man. All the ones I did find, where God they God ain't singing them shoes, did he? <laughs> you went. So where do you find your women at? At the market. 
At the market. That's right. Everybody know me. They know I stay in the market. I'll go to the market every day because yeah. guess what? If I find you in the market, that means one of two things. You either know how to cook or you like to eat. See, and if I go to the supermarket, there's more women in the I don't meet women in the clubs. If you, if you date me, don't ever worry about Joe the Boss cheating on you and the women in the club. Mm, yeah. Now, if I go to the market, you got problems. I know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wow. If I, if, when I start going to the market, bitch, you better be worried. So we know we're joking his woman at the market. That's right. I'm going to the market. That's where I'm going at. Well, I guess yes. I got to I got to search and find him and go where? Yes. To the gym. I'm at the gym, so. The gym wherever, but don't give up. Don't do you look for everything else, but you stop when it's time to look for a man. If he come, he come, but I'm not looking for. Him. Can't do that. Mm-hmm. Y'all got to come on now. <laughs> Yeah. Fred said, go to the market. That's where you got to go. Speed to dating. The I'm not to do speed dating then. If I'm looking for one, I might as well do the speed date. You Me and Nicole. Well. We might as well do the speed dating. Nicole, y'all might as well get on speeddate.com. Yes. What up, Miss Pat? What's going on? Miss Pat's one of the Hi, promoters Pat. back in the day. She used to put me on comedy shows. Then she got all sexy. And then I don't know where she went off to. <laughs> working somewhere. I think she got her butt lift done. And now she don't even come around no more. See, and a lot Miss of men don't talking about the butt lifts they don't even respect how naturally like we are now they want they a lot of men and a lot of women just doing anything too. talking about the butt thing right it's right it was a comedian i just heard um miss uh what's her name jessica larry just got her butt her butt done i guess she got the fat transferred from one part of the body to go to the butt is that is that acceptable now? Is that is that what we looking for, men? Is that what we looking for? We so obsessed with these Instagram models and and these women and and and, and these with these bodies, we just letting anything slide now. Yeah, yeah, and a lot of women doing it. I'm not gonna go pay to get my butt done. Right. And on top of that, I gotta pay to get bigger pants. Do that comes with the procedure? Yeah. Well. You <laughs> no, I'm good. I, I I listen. If you in that entertainment life. And, and, and you, like I said, you're a model, you're a dancer, and if it's something that's going to enhance you to make more money, by all means, rock, rock out. But if you just working in the hospital or you like you just you you ain't got no reason to be getting your butt done and getting fat transferred mm-hmm. from your from your stomach to your butt. Oh, bitch, sit down. I'm sorry. Sit down. OK, right. go to the gym, work out, find you a man that's going to love your shape, love your body no matter what. Because there's men out here. We mm-hmm. I'm one of them. I love a natural body. I don't care about all that fake stuff. Mm-hmm. I can't do it. I don't know. One day I'm gonna wake up and, you, and you're gonna catch fire. I don't know. That shit might be flammable. <laughs> it might be. <laughs> you might, might be standing next to the barbecue grill. Your ass gonna go up in flames. I don't know. Yeah, I'm. I'm cool with my pouch. My tummy, like I'm not getting no tummy tuck. It is what it is. I want him. After a while, he got to do hide and seek. Right. That's how my search aunt for say. my stuff. My aunt say we already got, but I think that was originally for the for the other people. I think they started, it, and then mm-hmm. what happened was, uh, like auntie, I think, uh, like you said, the black woman already had it, but. Once the white woman got it, start making money off of it. Right. Now with something, now the black women jumped on and they want to do it. You know, that's what it is. What up, now? What's going on? I'm in here. GlobalTunesRadio.com. Trina, my sister's in the building. What Denise. up, Trina? What's going on? Trina, Denise hey. Back. They just jumped on. Did Trina just jump on? And auntie, what we, we, we ain't here talking about right now on the Boss Talk Live show. Uh, I'm your host, you're the boss. That's Jess Lena right there. Hello. Don't forget to download the app. It's free. GlobalTunesRadio.com. Make sure y'all download the app and watch us. We on here every Monday night starting at 7 o'clock and we on till 9. Yes. Right? So here's the thing, right? We're talking about who is the head of the household. Mm. The head of the household back in like we was talking, 1902, 1945, it was always the man. The man was the head of the household. The woman stayed home. All right? Nowadays, women are maturing. Women are growing. Women are CEOs. Mm-hmm. Women are, are, are taking over. So does that give them the lead to be the head of the household? Is the breadwinner the head of the household? What do y'all think? I mean, y'all can talk about it. Don't be scared. Don't be nervous. Who the head of the household? The Trina? fellas? Is Sis. that Trina? Trina's on there? Tr- is that Trina and Ed? No, that's oh. um, Jim, my brother-in-law. Oh, that's Jim. Okay. That's my sister. What's up, Nicole? Hey, Jen. hey, Washington, what's going on? You're on live with Boss Talk Live. I am Joe the Boss again. That's just Lena. We in here every Monday night, 7 o'clock. This is our first show. Y'all got the green in the back, but if y'all was watching earlier or y'all watching um, on Just Lena page right now, you'll see the backdrop and everything behind us. Because we in here, we doing the big. Doing the big. We, we doing the big. 
first talk- first night live and That's it's right. nice. First of the month, July. Yes. That's and right. Terrell. South Philly. What's up, Terrell? Hey Terrell. Two four. Good brother. It's my bro. Nicole says she's the head of the household. Nicole, you know why you head of the household? Because you're single. You're single, you <laughs> Nicole, it's easy for you to be the household, head of the household because you live in the house by yourself. I don't think that counts. Yeah. Well, that's she because the Nicole didn't, we didn't run into the right guy. Nicole yet, so probably okay. works two jobs. Again, ladies, if you're working more than one job, you will not find a man. You're going to sit in here being like Nicole and just Lena right here. Lena has two jobs. Mm-hmm. How many hours did you say you have for a man in a relationship? Two and a half. Two and a half hours is all she has. Joe you, made the two and a half, so I'm going with the two and a half. <laughs> you got two and a half hours. I don't, I can't be with a woman who works more than one job. Lena has two and jobs. And I can't be I'm with a man don't work reason, none. The reason why she don't have a man, I'm trying to tell y'all, because she worked too many jobs. No, we just start running to noodles. <laughs> you running the noodles? Ramen noodles, top noodles, anything. <laughs> <laughs> so I let him go. <laughs> yes. That's crazy. Listen, man. Well, listen, we got to change the mindset of our men. That's a, that's another thing. Our men out there are just, they they making us look bad, shot. These men out here. And I, and like I said, I feel sorry for the women out here these days. They are dealing with a lot of shit. Y'all dealing with so much is crazy. And mm-hmm. I feel sorry that you have to go through this. And the only reason why I'm saying it, because I know, I know myself as, as my younger self. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God, it was horrible. I was horrible. I was the worst. But it takes... It takes a lot of maturity for men to get once when we get to that level, right? right? And then once we mature, a lot of things start to come easy for us, and we lie, we, we 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 tend to tune ourselves down, right? Mm-hmm. We come, we humble ourselves more. We're down to reality because guess what? It only takes that one. It only takes that one love to break your heart. Yes. Right. Once you get that one love to break your heart. Then you kind of got to get your shit together. You kind of got to say, right. you know what? It's time for me to change. Whether you're a man or, or or woman, it's time for you to change and get your shit together. You know, you're going to keep going through that over and over and over again. Yes. And nobody wants to live that sad life. Nobody wants to be sitting up in a room listening to Brandy at 2 o'clock in the morning. Or Mary J. Blige, because she got some songs and make uh, it, uh, Mary, make it by him over and over and over. Uh, Mary J. had you crying. <sighs> Mary J. had you crying. She had you busting out tires on somebody's shit, Mary mm. J. She ain't playing. Did you That's see her on the girl. BET Awards? Yes. She killed it. Shout out to Mary J. Blige. She killed it. Yes, MJ, and she gonna be here on my birthday. Oh, that's right. Uh, hey, Shy, did we get tickets for that yet? Uh-huh. We're working on it. That means uh, when the, when the engineer and the owner say, uh, that means <laughs> yes. we're working on it. We're man, working man, on it. Might not. Stay tuned. What we're working on is we're trying to get some tickets, man, to give away. We're going to have everything up and running for Global Tunes uh, Radio.com. We're going to have it up and running. So Mary J. Blige and Nas will be here. I think, when is it, September or? I think it's July the 20th, right? On my birthday. On your birthday? Yes, it is. Oh, we may not have tickets for that show there, but we might. We're going to have some tickets. We got some tickets for my birthday. Party. We're going to have some giveaway tickets. So if we're going to have some trivia, all kind of stuff like that. We'll be giving away things. We're giving away uh, all kind of stuff, man. So this is going to be the next big thing right now. I'm telling you yes. right now. GlobalTunesRadio.com. They just, we are on here. We're official like Scott Tissue. That's Jess Lena. I'm Joe the Boss. We're on here. So we're going live every Monday night. It's called Boss Talk Live, 7 o'clock. And we're going down. We got topics, all kind of stuff. It's gonna be Stay crazy. tuned. Make sure y'all download the app. It's free. It's gonna be crazy. What's We're up, Jack? We're not asking for money to download it. I was. I'm sitting up here. I'm sorry. I was reading uh, my man Fred. Fred said. Fred said. But uh, men, mm-hmm. we deal with a lot of women nonsense. That is true, Fred. We deal with a lot of women. Women, y'all got a lot of games y'all play. It's a lot of nonsense going on with y'all. Say That's, that again. With men, he said. Men, men, we we deal with a lot of y'all women nonsense. Okay. Y'all got a lot of shit with y'all. Yeah. And it's we hard do. to deal with. So at some point or another, we we have to <sighs> blow it out and digress ourselves because we have to deal with a lot of nonsense y'all have. Yeah, and a big thing is they don't communicate. They rather go on Instagram and social media and talk about you instead of sitting down and talking about you while you in the bed and, yo, let me put the phone down. Let's talk about the issues. Is that women you talking about? Men, women, both. Oh, oh, men go on Instagram and, and, and Some Facebook. Some of them. I had one. Every time oh. we went through something, he Instagram me. I'm like, come on, everybody know when we going through something. <laughs> and he wasn't the only man. You can tell when somebody break up, going through a divorce. Like, come on. Get the locks yeah. changed. Communi- communication is the key, man. I think you have to be on the same page. You have to. 
it's it's crazy to sit up there and live with somebody twenty four seven. You with them? You even been with them years, and there's no and the communication you have is just whack. You have to communicate with each other. That's big, and any friendship, relationship, marriage, you have to communicate with the person. You have to. It's very important. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, it's important. Well, this is why a lot of people are saying, how much time we got left, Shad? Where we at? Um, like okay. Yes, 20 minutes. 7 and 9. Don't forget, every Monday night we on here right before, I guess, coming up Monday Night Football in a couple of weeks, so. We're going to get on before Monday Night Football and be off by the kickoff. So, yes, we're starting off Monday right. Yeah, Mondays, are, Mondays are, 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 are like this laid back day. So, this is the day we actually picked to be on. So, we make sure that you're home right now. We want, some, we want everybody to interact with us and give us some feedback. Let us know, you know, how y'all feel, you know, what's going on. Yes. That's Trina up there. Trina giving the muscles up there. Yes, Trina, like, yes, yeah, sis. I can't hear. Why? On my Facebook? That's your Instagram. She right here too. This your Facebook right here. They ain't watching you live through the Facebook. So which one she can't? Yeah, yeah. I think they can't hear on here. Yeah. Oh, what up, E? What's going on, E? Nicole, Nicole said, I do want a relationship. Lots of love, lots of money, uh, no drama. Okay, Nicole, what, Nicole, listen, you keep your head up because it's coming. Oh, no, Nicole, that's Nicole from the ballpark. You know Nicole? I don't think she was there when you was there. Oh, I don't know That's Nicole. Nicole from the ballpark. I thought that was Hi, Nicole, Nicole Spain. Yeah, okay. Oh, sis can't hear me, I guess, on my Instagram. I don't know. We don't know what's going on Instagram, people, but. You couldn't, they couldn't hear me. They couldn't either. hear me even on Instagram. I was doing a lot of uh, lip singing, I guess they were saying I was doing. Well, I might as well end it. I, I, I mean, don't know. can't hear. I don't know. Uh, yeah, you might as well end that there. That's why the number went down. Hey, they probably thinking I'm going crazy. Like, I can't hear her. Boss Talk Live on uh, GlobalTunesRadio.com. We're talking. we got some interesting things going on tonight. So, hey, Nicole, what's going on? Oh, my goodness. What is going on? You know what I want to talk about, Philly? I, this is my Philly people, man. We got to talk about something with these potholes. Mm. Because on my way into the station, man, I hit a pothole. I swear, I almost thought I was going to fall out the car. It's we it's, we have to do somebody's. I'm I'm ready to just ride a bike from now on. It's really bad. It's it's horrible. Now they don't it's, even fix your car no more. They used to years ago. You know you report the issue. Now the city got greedy and they don't fix anything. The pothole ec- epidemic is worse than the him. What they the call it? Epidemic. The drug epidemic up yep. there in Kensington. I don't know what's worse. I don't know if you got if you got the people leaning falling asleep is worse than the damn potholes. <laughs> <laughs> Cause it's crazy. Yo, I recorded. It was hard, but I d- didn't. I didn't post it because I know at the end of the day, it's somebody parents. Post their ass, man. They was getting high. Matter of fact, it was me and me and Theo and Kensington. He had to do something, some floors, and they was actually getting high right in front of us. Wow. Taking turns and just snorting it and smoking it. Wow. And was looking at us like we was joining. I'm like, nah, I'm good. Yes, no, this is the, the pothole epidemic is bad. Who do we talk to? This is what I need y'all to do, Facebook people out there. If y'all watching us right now, mm-hmm. we need y'all help, okay? Because this thing right here is GlobalTunesRadio.com, and along with my Facebook, and along, and along with Lena's Facebook, this is over maybe 10, 15,000 people watching us right now, okay? Yes. We need to find out who can we address. Who can we put on blast? Y'all know I'm going to put them on blast. I don't care. If, if you can get me a name... A phone number. Mm-hmm. I don't care. Post it to my page. Hit my Instagram. I don't care if it's the street departments. I don't care if it's the Philadelphia damn mayor. Who can we put on blast to about get addressed the about potholes. these potholes? It's not cool. It's not cool. Yeah. Why I'm stuck like that? Oh, it's loading. It just says load. Yeah. Oh, I look dead. I don't like that. I look <laughs> <laughs> That shit look at me like I'm looking dead. I got my gold. I got my gold. Your show is in North Philly. I can't wear my gold chain down there. Who can we address <laughs> about these potholes? It is horrible, man. I don't uh, know. Maybe I can hit up my from my council friend um, Jordan Harris. I'm gonna ask him. We gonna see. Jordan Harris. If y'all know him, if y'all know anybody that's in the city, what my auntie? Auntie, you still on? Because my auntie, she does a lot of stuff for the community. If you're still on here. Give me some names. Give us some names. Who can we reach out to about this pothole? These potholes in Philadelphia are horrible. 
I mean, I, we pay a lot of money for these cars. You pay a lot of money for car and your maintenance. I mean, come on, man. This is just ridiculous. Yeah. It's, it's the, it's damn, it, we're in the middle of summer. Mm-hmm. We're in the middle of summer, and we running over potholes that's damn near the size of, I look like a damn. It's uh, like a tiger. They can right. my tigers. It's crazy. Elephant can fall through some of these <laughs> fucking potholes, man. <laughs> it is horrible. It's crazy. And how am I going to go to work if, I, if my tire is stuck in the pothole? Yeah. P- who can we put on blast? Who can? I hit a pothole in my truck. I swear it was about a month ago. I went in the store. All of a sudden, I heard this big boom. Everybody running around. I go outside. They're like, who, who has the black truck out there? I'm like, that's my truck. I said, your tire just blew out. My tire blew out, man. And my tire's not cheap. I don't even know who I can get this money back from. Because that shit was expensive. Oh, yeah, that's when your tire, you had to get it. Yeah. Tire. I had mm-hmm. to get, then I had to get, then you just can't buy one tire. You got to get replaced to at least two or three of them. You can't just get one. All of them got to be mounted and air pressure and all that shit the same. I want my money back. Yeah, we're going to find out so Joe can get his money back. Yeah. What up, Al? What's going on? If you know who got, who's in charge of this pothole thing? Because I want some names, damn it. Yeah, they, they building more prisons, but they ain't getting done what really need to be getting. Like, we need seriously. to talk about some real things. This is boss. So this is what we talking about. We're going to address some issues that need to be addressed. We're going to talk about whoever. Yeah, so Jor and Harris, I'm going to hit you up and find out who can we complain about by Philadelphia streets and the potholes. I was crazy. I got no sense. I'm around here riding around hitting potholes. I can't flex. I can't get my flex on and <laughs> bouncing all around inside a pothole. So how you doing? Stuck. <laughs> you know what I'm saying I got a, I got my lady in front of me. Her wig falling, getting tilted like this. I look over a wig hanging out by her nose and shit. I, we didn't hit 22 potholes from <laughs> riding down Broad and Allegheny to South Street. Her wig Make all, all messed up. Her everything. Nose, everything. <laughs> Fix these potholes, damn it, Philadelphia. I mean, y'all getting too much money. Bad enough, the parking authority is doing the hell what they want to do. They okay. are, they're just a legal mob right now. The parking authority is raping us all kind of ways. They rob you without a gun in the mess. I've never seen nothing like this. That's it. They, they've just told your car. Remember they told your car? Oh, that was yeah. the parking authority? Um, No, that was a private. Uh, oh, that was a private, yeah. Yeah, but I'm surprised parking authority didn't do it. But they have told my car one time. Um, just when I just start, I open up for Jefferson. Mm-hmm. And parking authority lady told me I can park where I parked it. She said, oh, yeah, you can park there. I put $5 in the meter. Around 12 o'clock, I goes, my car is gone. It was a setup. They told my car. So I couldn't oh, park it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Had to pay like $400 to get my car out. That's crazy. See, we got to do something about these powers. We got to do something about this parking authority. They just came in here and took this city over. I, I know them checks they cut into the city is big. Mm, real big. But we the people, and we have to make sure our voice is heard. Yes. And we can do it right here on Ball Talk Show. Until Every they Monday shut, night. Until they shut us off. Until they shut me off. <laughs> 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 but I'm going to say whatever the hell I want to say, damn it. What up, Sweets? What's going on? It's uh, real. It's real. That's right. We're going to say whatever we want to say. We're going to get the word out to the people because it's important. It is. It a is lot important. of people don't have a voice. They scared to talk. They don't want to speak, you know, so. This is it right here. Tell this. us how y'all feel about things, inboxes, and we'll talk about it. We're going to talk about it. So, Lena, you got a show coming up. Yes, I do have a show coming up. Tell them about your birthday bash. Is that behind us right there on yes, your Facebook is. page? July okay. the 20th, official birthday bash. Joe the Boss is hosting. That's me. John Phillips is That's performing. I. John Phillips. And Malcolm. And Malcolm Hill. And I am going to perform before I start drinking. Uh-oh, you're drinking at night. Yes, I am. Whoa. I don't know how much I'm going to drink because I can't really drink, but I am going to drink. Whoa. Oh, oh. Yes. I always find before I perform, I uh, I drink a lot of water. Um, and I really don't drink until after I perform. Mm-hmm. Reason is sometimes when I did that when I first started years ago, I would I would I was so nervous. I would mm-hmm. try to have a drink or two and a drink or two and end up being four drinks. And I got on stage and I forgot my whole material. And <laughs> I did that I sweating and, and run out of breath. And so I try to drink now after I get on stage. On Coopers, if I I tried it, I'm like I don't I don't I don't, I don't know. Yeah, well that's <laughs> a that's a whole nother monster to stuff because them Coopers drinks are crazy. Yes. Shout out to Cooper's man, um, uh, uh, Howard and um, the daughter, his daughter Malika right now, who's running the, the running the spot. 
I just found out that I've been at Cooper's for seven years. Mm. Seven years hosting this weekly room. I was talking to uh, Lamar Todd um, before I came in tonight, uh, Lena. And mm-hmm. I don't know if you saw Lamar Todd. He's a comedian from Philadelphia. I don't know if y'all know Lamar Todd. He's actually yeah. a comedian from Chester, uh, Chester, PA. Yeah. And, he, and you just did the show uh, Friday. Did you see the post that he put up? No, what did he? No. Um, um, Lamar Todd was saying that he has the one of the toughest comedy rooms. He said his room is really hood. And it's a tough room to put comedians on because when they come in, they don't do too well. Okay. Right? So... Same thing kind of uh, I go through at, at Cooper's. As you know, you there with me every week. Mm-hmm. Cooper's is a, is a rough room. It's a rough comedy room, right? right? So I've been holding this one of, probably I say, the roughest comedy room in the city of Philadelphia for seven years. Cooper's is tough. And not just a monthly show, a weekly show. Weekly. Yep, every week. Every week. And so me and Lamar Top was talking about it's like it was like crazy. Like, damn, we didn't realize seven years went went by that fast. When I first started, my beard was all black, man. Mm. As you see now, yes. I am Frosty the Snowman. Looks nice though. Thank you. I'm getting no Shout out to Lamar. He put me on the show too. He's good people. No, okay. Theo oh Theo just put something interesting on the page right now. Okay. Theo said, let's talk about getting back to our youth. Mm-hmm. And stepping up as men and fathers and directing our youth into the right direction. I applaud you, Phil, for bringing this up. But guess what? You are on your own. Because <laughs> these kids are bad as shit, and I don't want no. <laughs> they need role models. That's the problem. Phil, Nobody you... don't want to take the time with the youth. Phil, you are on your own. You can have it. These little kids are the same height as me, and I'm not fucking with them, okay? <laughs> they are bad. When they you see them now, they run, they run through the hood because the school is out. But guess what? When they put them khakis on and them little polo shirts, they out here running wild. I don't want to buy one. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that? But that would, that's, that's awesome. No, you know what? Uh, on some real shit, Phil, you know what? Um... I got a good plan for you, brother. I got something because you do what's it, a t- touch touch of class floors? Yes. I think since you have the you you run the Theo runs his own business, uh, folks. He has the touch of class um, floors where he does stripping and waxing and, and carpet polishing cleaning, and everything. polishing. He does all that. I think Theo, we should set up a class for some young folks to give them a trade to you know maybe you got a floor or actually uh, I probably can get a, a job or two for you and we bring some young kids in man and train them and show them how. You know, to work floor machines and stuff like that. So we yes. can link up, Phil, and, and let's get that started, man. I guarantee you, I think that's something that we can work on and get done. So I'm going to connect with you this week, man, so we can we can at least get the youth there and get them in the right direction so they don't have to uh, 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 go up through life and, and, and mm-hmm. feel like they can't make no money doing nothing else but selling drugs and all that kind of crazy stuff. We can get them on something early and, and start them there in, in the path of... Um, Working with their hands, man. I think that's a great idea. Yep. Teach them while they're young, and they're going to have that same energy and the same mindset when they get older. Yep. They have to work and grind. So. Yeah, I think that's I think that's a good idea. I think it's been, man, because I said, these these young boys out here now, if you don't grab them, like Phil said, we don't grab them early, they're going to mm-hmm. turn into bums. Yep. They're going to turn into slackers. They're going to they be 25, and they're going to be 26, and they're going to be slackers, and they're going not going to – want to do nothing then what's gonna happen is they gonna have women like just lena out here working three jobs no, she they ain't, ain't they gonna, ain't gonna no have no time age. for no man because they'll be on my black list just like there's a couple of them black yeah. list let's do it phil we're gonna get together this week and we can start playing something together I, we, we'll put a list out mm-hmm. uh, we'll shoot an email out to some people if you uh right now people if you're watching if you have a young kid if you have a young boy a teenager or, or let's start in, at maybe 19 years old uh, uh um you got kids out there, they want to teach them. We, we want to teach them. Me and Phil, we want to teach them how to run floor machines and how to do floors. Let's start them off early. Hit my DM. Hit Theo Law's DM. We can schedule something for the weekend. We can have them come in and, and help us do a floor and train them. So I'm That's offering big. my help right now, my support. Y'all, y'all have it. If you have kids out there, if you got some, some teenage boys, you want to get them off the street for a couple of hours on Saturday mornings or Saturday afternoons, get with me and Theo. I'm willing to uh, donate my time and mm-hmm. come out and help these young men um, be better, be better men and and learn a trade or two early. Yes. Oh, I did floors too before. Women too. Yeah, it's some. I did floors. I um, got trained by a manager when I was at Children's Hospital. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I used to do the floors. Yeah, women I like too. That. 
Nicole actually worked with me down in the ballpark as well. She said she can do floors. She can help. Nicole, so maybe uh, maybe you can um, help uh, get this off the ground with me and Theo. If you got anybody, we can shoot you the info, and they can register, all kind of stuff, and we can start doing classes. Nice. Yep. You know? Definitely. I- I'm willing. This is, this is what we're here for, man. We got the platform. We're here to, to teach and preach and spread the word. A support, Big. love, unity, all that stuff, man. This is what we're here for. This is a positive environment. We got positive vibes. The show yes. is all that. You know, this is why I, this is why I call the show Boss Talk. The Boss Talk. Boss the Talk. Boss. I call it Boss Talk for a reason because we're going to talk about some real life things, man. We're talking ball shit. Boss Talk. Yes. That's real right. stuff. Real, a lot of people, they, you know, they talk, but they don't say things that really need to be said. Exactly. Yep. Just listening and they all about themselves. They don't even want to help out nobody. They just be greedy. Can't be greedy. Yeah. You can't be greedy in this time of life because you, at some point and another, you're going to need somebody. You're going to need help. Yes. And you're going to need to work together. It's a lot of things. I, I look at a lot of people who are making things happen, man. And you look around them, you're going to notice the team that they have around mm-hmm. them. They have a team around them that makes things stronger for them, makes things easier for them. And they get to work together and they build each other up. That's when I go off. One thing yeah. I, I, I like to see, uh, two people, man, I love to see work. And one is Kevin Hart because Kevin Hart, he has his team around him. You notice when they on the jet, when they doing the shows, like a lot of the um, the Kevin Hart specials that y'all see on Netflix and all those ones he put out, you didn't realize before he went on stage, his team of comedians, Naeem Spank, all them guys, Joey, they go mm-hmm. on before him, you know? And in every show he do, he went all around his world. And he keep his same group of guys with him, his team with him, from his trainer, all that, from See, the manager, that's love. all that's love, man. He got a guy, uh, uh, he got a guy that wrote with him named Wayne. Wayne was with him when he was here in Philadelphia. Mm. Uh, he made Wayne like the role manager, or something like that. You gotta have a team with you, man. Yep. The other person I, I highly respect is, is uh, another person is um Tyler Perry. Oh yes. Tyler Perry Shout has an awesome team, man. He has an awesome team. His speech was touching to the team. Yep, Theo said you are a reflection of the top five people you hang around. That's that's dope right there, and that means a lot. That's true. You, you hang around. They said what they say. You hang around twelve broke people, and then you become you be broke with them. You'll be number thirteen. Yes. Yep. You'll be number th- Stop hanging around people that's draining your energy. Mm-hmm. You have to be surround yourself with people who who has it. That's that's gonna be my closing comments. Shy, let me know when we're down to my last three minutes. Three minutes. Three minutes now. Mm-hmm. Three minutes now? Oh. Yes. All right, so we're going to get this. Uh, uh, just Lena, uh, tell the folks some information you need to let them know about yourself. Um, That's just you right Lena. there, too, on there, wherever you at. Um, I'm at Lyrics Lounge this, what, Sunday, July the 7th. Hmm? It's about? Just Lyric? Just Lounge? What? Lyrics um, Lounge? Lyric? Roosevelt Boulevard? Yes, I'm there. Okay, Roosevelt Boulevard. That's, that's uh, it started at 9 o'clock, tickets $10. And I don't know, it's like 20 female comedians, so we're gonna be in the building. Mm. It's a lot of them. Oh, another female comedian. That's another female show. That's awesome. Yes, I love it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Especially when everybody getting along and having fun, it's, it's dope to get females together. Okay. Um, the next show is I'm celebrating my birthday party. And I got Joe the Boss to host it. I'm there. John Phillips, you don't want to miss the bus driver. And if you're not there on time, then you know why. He ran past your ass. Um, mm-hmm. We got the prince going to be in the building, Malcolm. Mm-hmm. Ladies, you know, he come with his shades. So. Shades on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, Joe the Ball's going to be fly. You know it. You know I got the chest here hanging out tonight, baby. Yes. You know I'm going to be ripping ready. I got to represent you because every show that I do, you always come through and represent me. So I'm yes. there. I'm going to pull them, I'm pulling all stops out tonight. Mm. I might even pull out the gold mic for you. Oh yeah, we bring might that gold pull mic. the gold mic out for you. <laughs> yes. So, um, uh, myself, what you um, doing? Uh, this weekend, you know, Joe the Boss, I mean, I'm, I'm all, I'm all over the place right now. So I'm actually hosting a private event uh, this Friday night here in Philadelphia at, mm-hmm. uh, I think it's over there. I gotta check my thing. It's over the Hilton, or I'm at the African American Museum. It's one of the mm. two. But I'm hosting the event down there. Uh, Saturday, um, Saturday we filming some some things for the uh, July twenty seventh show uh, that's coming up. Oh, July yeah. twenty seventh, comedy under the L. Nice. Uh, Tony Bird and Chase, 
And we just working, man. We working. And like I said, July 20th, I'm with you. We're going to host this thing. Uh, your birthday bash is going to be crazy. Every Thursday, Coopers. And Coopers, this Thursday. Don't forget to come out to Coopers. It's free to get in. Uh, the comedy show. I think I got uh, Lamar Todd, I think, this this uh, Thursday. Nice. So Lamar. Make sure y'all come through and I'll come through and support. Uh, we on. We, we got everybody watching us now through our Facebook and through the Instagram. Uh, the show is great. But if you keep watching and you want to log on to us eventually at GlobalTunesRadio.com. It's the app that we're on. The app is free. So make sure you log on. And also, there's other shows going on during the week, too, as well. So when you, you get on, you watch GlobalTunes.Radio, GlobalTunesRadio.com, you'll see other shows that's actually aired on this uh, on the podcast. This is the live podcast right now. Yes. Um, are we down to, what, two minutes? Yeah, yeah. Down to two minutes. I just want to close out with this. Uh, like we was talking about, um, our energy. Your energy is important. The energy that you put out into this world is important. The energy that you bring into the world is important. So start surrounding yourself with people who has the energy that you have, right? Yes. You can't be around people that's going to drain you, that's draining you. It don't matter if they're family. It don't matter if they're your best friend, if they're coworkers. If their energy is down here and yours is up here, cut them. Cut them. Cut them. Yes, because, space. listen, they're going to bring you down. That's their goal. And some people like some people in life, their goal is to uplift you, and some people goal is to bring you down. Yes. So when you run to those people that want to bring you down, you have to do what you got to step over them and keep it moving. Yes. It don't matter, like I said, who they are because you because God going to send us different people and we not we don't we don't know and they're going to come in a pretty package. <laughs> they're yes. going to come in a package that may be your, your, your kid's father. They may be your kid's mother. They may be your cousin. They may be your best friend. They're going to come in a pretty package. Mm-hmm. But guess what? If their energy is low, it's, get away from yeah, them. Get them. Get them away because they ain't going to be no good for you. You want somebody to support you, uplift you, uplift each other. Yes. Not yes. bring you down. A lot of people already down say so they want you to join their club. No, Misery Love Company, and no, I can't be a company. That's right, Misery Love Company. So get away from them. Get your energy up. It's all about good vibes. That's all we bring in on Boss Talk. Catch us here next Monday at 7 o'clock. We on every week, 7 o'clock to 9. On uh, You can watch us through Facebook and Instagram. Mm-hmm. You on GlobalTunesRadio.com. I'm Joe the Boss. That's Jess Lena. Just Thank y'all for watching. We'll see y'all next week. Y'all been all in. Be safe. Thank you. Yes. What up, Chrissy? What's going on? Nikki. Hi, my cousin on. Darnell, babe. What up, Yasmin? How you doing? We wrapping it. We out of here. Yes. It was a dope show. It was. It was nice. Woo. I'm going to show you a little peek of the studio because Shy's back there. Shy's back there behind the thing high. <laughs> I don't know if I think I would just talk to nobody. We in the studio, everything was oh man, the show was crazy, it's our first show. So make sure what up Jay, what's going on? Make sure you keep watching, man. The show is crazy. Every Monday night, GlobalTunesRadio.com. Show the boss, Jess Lena. Studio we wrapping up the first show. My positive energy, man. It's, it was all love. Yes. Positive energy, man. Appreciate it. Thank you, Jay. Thank you, man. We working hard. Hello.